With Donald Trump's victory in the presidential election, many are in fear of a racist white supremacist as president of the United States of America. Many news outlets showed videos of Trump attacking Mexicans and Latinos. However, according to polls, more Latinos voted for Trump than for Mitt Romney in 2012. While some polls say there is little or no difference between the percentage of Latinos that voted for Trump and the number of Latinos that voted for Romney, the group Latinos for Trump has a small but by no means insignificant number of members and supporters. You might be thinking, how is it possible that some Latinos support Trump? Are they the Latino version of Uncle Ruckus from Boondocks? Many of the Latinos that support Trump are legal immigrants that had to pay large visa sums to enter the US. They also tend to be second or third generation immigrants. They say that he is not racist and they back her up by saying that he is against illegal immigration and not legal immigration and that he has repeatedly said this. To my surprise, this is actually quite true. And by the way, people are going to come into our country. We want people to come in, but they've got to come in like you, legally, right, my man? Legally. Oh, I'd love to get you up in the stage. I'd love to show him that shirt. I don't know. These guys, I'd love to get him up here. Can I? Come on, bring him up. Just Jimmy, come on. Bring him up. Bring him up. He knows if he makes a move, he's going to get clobbered by these guys. Did you see these guys take the guy down yesterday? Man, they took him down. Thank you. That's great. I didn't think they were going to say yes. And look at him. He's a tough looking guy. Come on, don't worry. Oops, he has a hard time getting over, but he's fine. Look at this. Come here. Come here. Want to say hello? Say hello. Come on. Um, I, I'm surprised I'm up here. Um, I came to this country when I was five years old, and um, my dad went through how to get a citizenship, and we did it by the book. And, and, and I, I'm really, I'm here because I'm agitated that the media does not separate legal immigration from illegal. Um, people spill out their guts to come here legally, and it's just really a shame that they give you a bad name. You, you, are, you do support immigration. I totally support, and I support Hispanics, bro. Thank you. I support I do. Great guy. Thank you. Great guy, right? And did I ever meet you before? You know, they're going to say, oh, he met him before. They had a meeting last night. No, no. I just think I know, I know great people, and I appreciate it. Where did he go? Oh. I thought he might have left. Thank you, man. What's your name? What is your name? We need to build a wall, and it has to be built quickly. And I don't mind having a big, beautiful door in that wall so that people can come into this country legally. We have, to have borders. We have to have strong borders. If we don't have borders, we don't have a country. And people can come into our country, but they have to come in legally. They can't do what they're doing. We have right now 179,000 illegal immigrants who are criminals, who have criminal convictions. That means all 179,000. Think of that. So that's like filling up Yankee Stadium four times. I will say, though, in terms of immigration and almost anything else, there always has, has to be some, you know, tug and pull and deal. You and have to be able to have some flexibility, some negotiation. This is a Bernie plan. All right, okay, I understand your question. And I understand. What, what, darling? Say it a little louder. We can't hear you. Okay. Oh, oh, illegal immigrants bone of our country? I don't think so, darling. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. They're not the backbone. You know what? I'll tell you what. We did. That's okay. No, we don't need help with these folks. Let, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. You know what the backbone of our country? People that came here, and they came here legally. People that came to this country legally, and they worked their ass off, and they've made the country great. That's the backbone. That's the backbone. All right. In the infamous video of when he is calling Mexicans rapists, 
He actually seems to be talking about illegal immigrants from all over South and Central America. The media portrays him as targeting specifically Mexicans and calling them rapists. However, if you look at the whole video, it's simply not true. The media perception of Trump is that he is a Mexican hating white supremacist. However, he has even praised the Mexican president and said that he loves Mexicans on numerous occasions. The problem he has is with illegal immigrants. While you can definitely say that the comments he has made on illegal immigrants are controversial, there is no video of him attacking illegal Mexican migrants. Before his presidential run, Trump was known for being arrogant and for being a loud personality. However, he was not known for being racist. The labelling of him being racist only occurred during his presidential run. Donald Trump may not be PC, but he is not the racist person that most people think he is.